I've got it. Oh, I dropped it too. <gasps> Saw it come out and grab it. Oh, Woken the local dogs up too with that. Oh, mate, he was a good fish. Let's see if he wants it again. Come on, buddy. He was after that. <sighs> Saw that bow wave come up the back, the big golden flash on the side as it turned and took it. <sighs> that was a big bass. That was a big bass. <sighs> Man, these things are fun as though. Oh, got it. Oh, the minute I turned away, it's always the way, isn't it? <laughs> so I completely missed the hit, but it's a good fish because it's coming out deep. It's taking me deep. Oh, grab it, buddy. Got it. Oh, dropped it. Beautiful golden looking bass. Beautiful bass. In this video, we're going to review the live target field mouse. We've just had a flooding rain this week and the water levels are up. It's super dirty, but I wanted to take you through how I like to fish this thing because when the water is rising or uh, when we've had some floods over the cane fields and through the grasses, these lures are insanely effective. Uh, they're a weedless, like an, almost like a collapsible frog design like a soft frog. You can see they've got that collapsible body, the little tail and legs out the back there. And then the profile on the front, you can see that just keeps the belly up and keeps the mouse's little nose just shooting along the surface beautifully, just like a little field mouse. So the way that I'm fishing it this morning, I'll just take you through how I'm doing it. I'm chasing bass and you can see the sort of flooded grasses here and I'm actually throwing it right up onto the grass and then just trying to bring it down and sit it in the little pockets in between all of the weed and the brush and everything and then just sitting it there and then when it comes out over the edge of that weed I'm just giving it a couple of little, couple of little bounces and a pause and then I'm just bringing it straight back in and what you get with this sort of bubbly front it just sort of pushes itself over the top of all of this weed Got it. Oh, come on, come on. Beautiful golden looking bass. Beautiful bass. Just fishing with this field mouse, and you can see all of the brush that's washed in here. It just makes sense that there's going to be bass sitting under this, trying to pick up all the little creatures, all the little mice or rats, tiny little skinks, things like that that might have been washed in with the floods. And a weedless presentation like this live target little field mouse is just perfect. You can get across all the top of it. It's not too obtrusive, like it's really quiet in here, really calm. It's all you need. drains. I can hear it running through this drain. You want to be right up in these corners. Right up in that back corner. That's where they'll be sitting. Oh, got it. Yep. Yeah, he just followed it out. That's the easy part, getting them out of this crazy stuff. In Oh, it's a cracker too. What a beauty. Come here, buddy. 
Look at that. What a beauty, eh? What a specimen taken on that field mouse. These post flood conditions, you can throw creatures right up into that crazy cover if they're weedless and they're so effective. Just gotta be patient, make sure you're getting it right into the back corners. That's where they're sitting and they're gorging themselves on all these little uh, insects, mice, things like that. What a beautiful bass, eh? Great condition, full as full as. They would have been gorging themselves all week on this stuff. And oh, heaps of fun. Super quiet, calm, calm conditions. These little, they're like you know the weedless frogs, but they're a little mouse presentation. They've got a little tail on the back. Let me show you. They get, they get all bent up when you bring them in because they're so soft but you can see the way they collapsed there that's all that happened I, I jumped out at the first two hits I got I was so excited I tried to set the hook early and that's why I missed it so I let it take it that third time and that's how I got the hook up so with these soft ones you let them grab it turn around take off with it that's when they compress it and the hook gets exposed a little field mouse awesome stuff It just makes so much sense. Like, look, we're in the cane fields. There'd be heaps of creatures. I see, I've seen lizards in here this morning, like tiny little lizards sort of chasing my lure around. It just makes sense. There's heaps of this stuff that's been washed in. Look at that. What a beautiful little creature, eh? It's tempting to fish this thing really fast, but when it's in there hard against the bank, you just want to be patient, give the bass time to take it. Because they can be sort of like trying to hurry their way through all of that brush and that to find it. So when you're bringing it through, just really slow and cumbersome and just dawdle it over that weed. And then once you get over the edge, just sit it there and let the bass come up and smack it. You can, you can walk the dog with this lure like you really can just get it moving side to side but if you've watched a field mouse swim before they're very straight on and they just sort of swim with a constant little little bow wave so it's more realistic I think once you get it out just to do a straight slow retrieve back out until you're a couple of metres away from the bank and then fire another one in there um, you can skip this thing brilliantly they're real sort of floaty so the soft body lets you just fire it in. You can skip these things a mile and that helps you to get it under any overcut stuff. So I'll show you what you can do. You can just fire it in and they'll skip for you, get right in under overcut, overhanging sort of banks and things like that. And they come in a couple of different sizes. Like this is the smaller version, which I use for bass, but the bigger one is fantastic on Murray Cod as well. And it'll probably even go all right on Barra, I reckon too in amongst the dams over the lilies and things like that. They've just got a really seductive, bouncy little uh, action about them. And that little tail, when that's sitting down in the water, I just think that looks fantastic. It's such a natural presentation to have a little mouse in these cane fields when there's water rising, big flooding rains and sort of water just coming off these big fields to have these little mice trying to move around creates such a realistic presentation you've just got to be mindful I'll show you because it's happened right now when you're fishing these things sort of hard and skip casting or, or just from sort of treating them a little bit naughty and throwing in hard against cover they can sort of pin themselves and the hooks can just dig into that soft body a little bit so you really need to make sure that you're not pinned before you, you throw your lure out because then it won't expose the hook properly so you just make sure you just push it down, squeeze any water out of it and set those hooks free so the points are ready to hit their bass in the mouth when they, when they collapse and they're not just going to bite down on the plastic. So I'll just keep an eye on that. But other than that, the hookup rate on these things is pretty good. And you might have seen you know, in that earlier action that if you let the bass take it, your hookup rate is much better. 
is set it like trying to feed it to it, set the hooks like you would with a treble. These weedless presentations, which are like a collapsible lure, you've got to let the fish sort of almost hook themselves. When they get it, grab it, turn, and then you start to um, just heave, you know, like load up on the rod and, and that'll be enough to set those hooks. So if you fish around a lot of grassy areas or areas where there's new banks being covered and, and lots of land that's being covered by these new floodwaters, give yourself a chance and try throwing one of these collapsible lures. Maybe a little field mouse. I mean, they're fantastic to look at. And uh, to see a bass grab it, it's a lot of fun. It's the live target field mouse.